Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Against the Public for May 25th. I'm Dana Lane. Today, we will go through three Major League Baseball free plays for your Saturday card. And then after the show, go to PickDogs.com, get my top Major League Baseball, National Hockey League, and NBA plays. And you can also get those Major League Baseball plays in a three-pack. And, of course, every three-pack is $49.99. That comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee that states you must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price. In addition, as you know, there's only one way to get every one of my plays sent to you directly, and that's to become an all-access member. And you can do so for the next 30 days for less than $11 a day, the next 90 days for less than $10 a day, or better yet, guys, no time like the present to jump on an annual all-access pass that will give you every play that I release for the next 365 days for just $3 and 56 cents a day no matter how you join me please make sure you do appreciate everybody uh, that has and all access customers have enjoyed 61 percent winners over the last seven days all those plays are documented up on pickdogs.com that number includes an eight and three run in the nba and of course on the diamond customers uh, have cashed 60 percent winners over the last 30 day so let's get together let's work together let's roll our sleeves up and let's make this weekend a great one get to pickdogs.com right now okay on to your free winners for saturday 110 eastern time 925 926 toronto blue jays minus a dollar 16 eight is your total against the detroit tigers jose uh Barrios against uh, reese olsen and the tigers drew even in this series uh yesterday a 6-2 win but overall, still, despite the loss, Toronto has had their way with uh, Detroit winning seven of the last ten meetings. This is a unique pitching matchup. If you go through and look at the numbers, I'm not sure you will ever see another pitching matchup like this. Toronto's two and three uh, behind Barrios this season. Uh, in, or in the last five starts, uh, but seven and three overall. So that's pretty good. So the two-time All-Star has a 2.98 ERA this season. The confusing part comes when we go over to Reese Olsen, who who is 0-5 uh, on the season, owns a 2.16 ERA, and the Tigers have lost eight of his last of his nine starts. Go figure. You put up 2.16, or you put up a 2.16 ERA, and we figure a pitcher's not going to be 0-5. So how does this happen? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, Detroit averages 2.14 runs per game for Olsen. Of his nine starts this season, Detroit has scored one run or less four times and in three runs or less six times. Until that's broken, I, I can't put my money behind Detroit. Uh, Toronto's in a bounce-back situation here. Really embarrassed yesterday. And this organization, uh, I'm going to put some feelers out here and kind of see what's going on there because uh, there's a lot of guys that I'm hearing are not happy in that clubhouse, and uh, it's, it's including some pretty big names. So for tomorrow, though, we're going to go back with Toronto minus $1.16. And game number two, 140 Eastern time. 901-902 is your rotation number. San Francisco Giants against the New York Mets. Mets minus $1.21. 7.5 is your total. Jordan Hicks against Luis Severino. I suppose I'm probably a, a glutton for punishment, but every time Severino uh, needs to bounce back from a poor or average start, he's done just that. Uh, three times this year, Severino's given up three earned runs or more. And three times he's come back uh, with less than the three three earned run effort. So he's always bounced back after a poor effort uh, or an effort where he gives up more than three earned runs. His last outing in, against the Miami Marlins, uh, there's no doubt he needs to come back and pitch a lot better than he did against the Marlins, which was probably his last uh, his worst start of the season. Uh, Severino's been extremely effective at home, a 2-1 and one record, a 2.17 ERA at uh, City Field in five starts. Hicks has been, he's been great too. He's been pretty uh, pretty efficient to say the least, but he's a guy that's going to give you five innings and then you're going to, get, then you're going to give it over to a bullpen that owns a 4.59 ERA, gives up 5.04 runs per nine innings. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> we had a uh, we had the Giants or we had the Mets yesterday. Uh, thanks for that grand slam. I appreciate it. Other than that, the Mets were the right side. 
I hate when people say that, but you get what I mean. We're going to take the, We're going to go back with New York minus a dollar twenty-one here, and then game number three. 110 Eastern Time, 915, 916, Texas Rangers against the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Twinkies minus $1.30, 8.5 over minus 12. Uh, Michael Lorenzen against Chris Paddock. And, and let's see if the Twins can start putting together another ser- uh, another winning streak. Rather, uh, They had uh, their third straight win against the Texas Rangers on Friday. And really for the Twins, it's been feast or famine this year. They've lost seven straight games before this three-game winning streak. And then before the seven straight games uh, loss, they won 17 of 20. Head-to-head. Head to head, uh, Minnesota's won six of eight. And after winning Lorenzen's, I think, first two starts, uh, they've dropped five straight uh, with, with him on the mound. At best, I think he's going to give Bruce Bochy six innings, and then we're going to go into a bullpen that ranks 25th in baseball. Take Minnesota minus a dollar thirty. Before I go, I want to, and I used to do this a lot, and I don't, I don't know why I stopped doing it, but I, I used to do this where I went and gave you some handicapping notes for the weekend and some interesting numbers. And I had some time today, so I'm going to do that again just real quick uh, for your for your notes on the weekend. Home teams in Major League Baseball. And I used to, I don't know about you guys, but I used to love this sort of stuff. I used to dig into these numbers, and I'm a massive uh, stat geek. So uh, home teams this year, and this is against the money line only. Home teams are 394 and 362, good for a win percentage of 5 uh, 512. But that's not good enough, as you would imagine, to not turn a prop to not good enough to turn a profit. Minus 38.75 units, and that's based upon a one-unit wager. Road teams a lot better this season. 362 and 394, a losing record. So you still got to walk through the landmines and pick the right ones. But road teams are plus 6.93 units, and it is a long season. But you would have to go back to 2011, the last time that road teams finished in the black for uh, for the entire season. So either that means one thing, either we're going to break a long streak, or at some point we have to find that, that tipping point where it goes back the other way uh, and it goes towards home teams more. And I suspect when it does, and as we get into the summer months, especially at the trade deadline, uh, where teams start to really separate, that's when the number is going to start going back the other way. But interesting so far, road teams have done extremely well, but history tells us that's not going to stay that way. So that does it for your handicapping notes and your free plays for the weekend. Go to pickdogs.com, get involved with one of my many available packages, including my all-access pass that gives you every play that I release for one low price. Let's get to our Saturday recap. Toronto minus $1.16, Mets minus $1.21, and we're going to finish it off with Minnesota minus $1.30. That does it for today's show. Thank you to everyone who continues to watch on a daily basis. Please hit the like and subscribe button for Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your wagers on Saturday.